टुडे आई एम स्टार्टिंग अ न्यू चैप्टर विच इज कंस्ट्रक्शन मैनेजमेंट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग डेट आई वॉन्ट यू टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज मैनेजमेंट इफ यू डिवाइड अ कंपनी इन टू अ मैनेजमेंट पार्ट देन यू विल सी इट्स डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री पार्ट वन इज द टॉप मैनेजमेंट मिडल मैनेजमेंट एंड लोअर मैनेजमेंट टॉप मैनेजमेंट कंप्राइजेज ऑफ सीईओ बोर्ड मेंबर्स एंड अदर डिसीजन मेकर्स मिडल मैनेजमेंट आर एग्जीक्यूटर्स एंड लोअर मैनेजमेंट आर डूअर्स हु एक्चुअली डू द वर्क लाइक लेबर If you are watching this video I hope that you mostly belong to the middle management okay now for all these three the project itself is a different term I take a example of construction of a mall If you see a construction of a mall as a project then for top management this is a project but for middle management that the construction of mall is not a project but construction of some part of the mall is a project like if somebody is from electrical department then for him installation of electrical equipment is its project if somebody is from civil then construction of civil uh, structure is its project if somebody is from marketing then selling of the mall and its shop is its project okay so but the total construction of mall is a project of top management who are the decision makers and for the middle management there are different parts electrical civil marketing and many others and these are the people who execute uh, who does the part lower management now for top management the project is different hence their priorities are different for top management the priority can be financial which means money and time but the middle management the priority is technology and time money might not be the case because they are not putting the money so money is put by the top management so they are more concerned about the financial issues now to execute a project we need a mathematical model and that mathematical model is known as network so since <clears throat> the project is different for different people so this network will also be different so for top management this network can be wbs work work breakdown structure bar chart and might be linked or milestone bar chart for middle management it can be cpm or it can be pult which is in your course i am not going to other network there are other networks also okay uh, like uh, ladder network 
and many other but for most of the time we will be concentrating ourselves from cpm pult and ladder network so what i mean to say that day to day activity are monitored by the middle management and some broader moni- uh, monitoring is done by top management like weekly monthly or quarterly this is inspected by top management so they are dealing more project as a whole and these people middle management are taking day to day activity so the charts and the network will be different first i will discuss these one which is not much of important for us which is work breakdown structure bar chart and link chart milestone chart and their limitations okay the limitations are good for top management because top management don't want to know those limitations so they are not reflected in these charts okay but these limitations are not good for middle management so they are using some different network which is cpm and pult now let us see what is work breakdown structure now if you see work breakdown structure is first of all for top management so what they have done that they are looking after the major part of the project so the major part is construction of a mall hypermarket okay that is the major part now it can be divided into further classification like foundation structure finishing work woodwork infrastructure electrical and other then again these part can be divided into different parts so <clears throat> if you see they have divided the total project into different parts so this is work breakdown structure and it is more of a hierarchy chart so what is the hierarchy the top part is construction of the mall okay so this is the main hierarchy underneath we have different different activities so what is the main aim main aim is construction of the mall with different activities so this is the first type of the chart that can be built to summarize the project and to make understand that what is the total project will look like okay so if you divide it you can go it go it up to the last part okay so what management is trying to do they are more concentrated on first two parts and then the middle management will be looking after the small small other activities so work breakdown structure is for the mostly top management to understand the total work now the second type of the chart is a bar chart bar chart is actually a progress chart so the different activities can be divided on a time scale so you can say that this is a time scale okay some clearing the site will be done in april form foundation will be done in may foundation utilities are done up in start in mid of april and end in the may sub casting will start in uh, end of the may and uh, completed in the first week of june and so on is it okay so this is a bar chart now if you see this bar chart then this is good for the top management to understand the total time period and the activity duration but there is a problem the problem is the interdependency of the activities how one activity is dependent on the other we are not able to understand in this bar chart so bar chart has its own limitation that we are unable to understand the interdependency okay like you see that there are lot of activities in the july month okay but which will be perform first which will be perform second and what are their priorities we are unable to know in this 
will it be possible that i don't clear the site and i start the internal framing work this is not shown here so the interdependencies are absent so we do a modified bar chart which is known as linked bar chart so what linked bar chart is showing it's showing the interdependencies one activity is shown with the interdependency like if you see this activity then this activity will be only started when this activity is completed it is not related to any other activity okay so this is the link bar chart if you see here also here also the task b can only be started when task c and task a is completed so linked bar chart is nothing but a modified form of the bar chart in which we can show the interdependency now link bar chart and bar chart can be make a milestone chart so milestones are the certain points in the project where we need to understand that where the project is going you can understand in that way or in a better way you can understand that when the ceo or the board member will come and see what is being done in the project so they will ask what will happen during this so this become a milestone if you promise the ceo that in the month of july i will able to complete that then that becomes a milestone if he comes in the july month and see that these activities are not completed then the project is delayed clear so this become a milestone so you can put the milestones also so that you can understand or review the project at certain time you need not to uh, review the project every Uh, day or every week it is only reviewed at certain milestones that whether the project is delay or ahead so we can mark those points here and they are called milestones like i am making that so these three charts are mostly deal by the top management okay because um, uh, top management is not so much uh, concentrated with the interdependency or since they don't want to go into minute much minute details of day to day activity they want to see project as a whole so for them these charts are sufficient so whenever you see a minister or ceo or board member come to a site we usually show them the bar chart or link bar chart or work breakdown structure so that it can be as easily understood all three are easily understood and they are concise and precise okay but for day to day activity we cannot do use these three charts because one uh, network can have thousands of activities small small so these three charts are now only used by the top managements to understand or review the project the bar chart are developed by henry gent okay and work breakdown structure is a t structure with hierarchy now important is in work breakdown structure we work on top to down approach this is important that is we should have we should start with a bigger picture now if you see in this what is the bigger picture the bigger picture is construction of a mall so this is a big picture and then we have divided the smaller activity so what we are doing we are working from top to bottom what is our aim to aim is to construct a mall and then we have different activity so this is work breakdown structure clear okay? so two part is important one is the 
इट इज ए हायर किल चार्ट ओके ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑल्सो एट द टॉप वी हैव सी देन अदर एग्जीक्यूटिव देन लोअर एग्जीक्यूटिव देन दे आर सप सुपरवाइजर्स देन लेबर्स सो हायर की इज मेंटेन्ड एंड वी वर्क फ्रॉम टॉप टू बॉटम थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ड विच इज प्लानिंग शेड्यूलिंग एंड कंट्रोलिंग okay planning is the idea you have a idea that we have three activities or four activities let us say a b c d now their scheduling is that first a will be executed then b and c will be executed and then d will be executed okay the resources required for a let us say is 100 dollars or 100 rupees whatever your currency is it is 200 this is 50 and this is 500 okay clear so this is your planning so you have scheduled accordingly now when you are executing this schedule you come to know that a can be started and just before the completion of a i can start b also and after some time i will start c also okay and then d can be done clear so if you see now this change you have make from the schedule while execution so this is your controlling clear so i just read down so pro project planning and project scheduling are done before the actual project start so at this stage this is my planning and scheduling part now project controlling is operative during the execution of the project clear now scheduling is the laying out of the actual actu activity of the project in time order in which they are to be performed and calculating the manpower and material required so this is all and this is a part of scheduling that you assigned 100 250 and 500 to each activity so you have scheduled planning is that you have planned to execute a b c d now you schedule the amount and the time to each activity that i will first do a then b and c and then d so what we are doing we are preparing a network it is not done by top management again mostly it is done by middle management so friends thank you for watching this video i hope you understand the basics of the construction management in the second and third part i will be discussing in detail these network which is cpm and part thank you friends for watching this video i hope you learned a lot of things if you like this video give a thumbs up and please write a comment for my any suggestion which you want to give me also you can whatsapp me for any query or any doubt which you are facing while watching the video thank you enjoy civil engineering